Have you ever wanted to count how many times something passes a certain point like people entering a room, boxes on a conveyor belt or even just how many times you waved your hand? Well, today we are building a smart object counter using an IR proximity sensor, an ESP32 and an OLED display. And here is the coolest part. Just wave your hand and the number goes up instantly on the screen. No delay, no contact, just smooth real-time counting. And that's not all, even if the system turns off or there's a power failure, your count doesn't disappear. Why? Because we have got it saved safely in the EEP ROM, kind of like a memory card for your numbers. It will stay right there, ready for you when the system powers back on. The only way to reset it back to zero is by pressing this push button. Total control in your hands. Now, some of you might be wondering, why didn't I just use an Arduino? Well, here's the deal. I picked the ESP32 for a couple of really good reasons. First, the ESP32 comes with built-in Bluetooth, so later on I can send this counter value wirelessly to my phone, no need to connect any extra Bluetooth modules. The ESP32 gives you everything in one package, making your project simple, compact and powerful. Second, the ESP32 also has Wi-Fi built right in, and that opens up a world of possibilities. I can send this data to the cloud, whether it's Blink, UV Dots, ThinkSpeak, Google Sheets, you name it. Basically, you can send this number anywhere in the world in real time. So, if you are planning to expand this project later, maybe build a people counter for your shop or track items remotely, ESP32 is definitely the way to go. I highly recommend it. In this project, we are using the ESP32 Dev module, a digital adjustable infrared sensor from DF Robot, a push button and the SSD1306 or LED display module. This digital IR proximity sensor has an adjustable detection range of 0 to 200 centimeters. This sensor uses infrared light to detect objects. It sends out a beam and when an object comes in front of it, the beam reflects back to the sensor. Right here at the back of the sensor, you will see this tiny screw. This is used to adjust the detection distance. You can rotate it to increase or decrease how far the sensor can detect objects and right next to it, there is a small red LED. This is just an indicator light. Whenever the sensor detects an object, this LED turns on instantly, letting you know that the sensor has been triggered. It's compact, just 75 by 18 millimeters. It gives a digital output. Zero means no object detected. One means an object is in range. We have connected the signal wire to GPIO 25 on the SP32. The push button is connected to GPIO 15 and is used to reset the counter value. For the display, we are using the SSD1306 OLED. Connect XSDA and SCL pins to the GPIOs 21 and 22 on the SP32 dev module. Now, here's what's happening behind the scenes. First, we include the necessary libraries to talk to the OLED display and to save data in the ESP32's internal memory using the preferences library. We define the screen size and then create a display object using the Adafruit SD1306 library. Next, we set up two GPIO pins, one for the IR sensor, which is connected to pin 25, and one for the reset push button on pin 15. We use an interrupt for the IR sensor, so whenever an object passes by and triggers the sensor, the handle IR function runs instantly. We have added a small debounce delay of 300 milliseconds, so it doesn't count the same object multiple times. Each time an object is detected, the counter increases and we mark the display for update and the value to be saved. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication, read the last saved counter value from EEP ROM and prepare the OLED display. If the OLED display doesn't initialize, we stop everything and show an error on the serial monitor. Once everything is good, we show the current count on the screen. In the main loop, we check if there is a new count to show if yes, we update display. If the value needs to be saved, we write it back to EEP ROM so that even if the ESP32 resets or loses power, the counter won't be lost. Finally, we check if the reset button is pressed and if it is, we clear the counter, update the display and also reset the saved value in memory. All this happens smoothly in real time, making the system fast, reliable, and super responsive. I've shared the complete code and circuit diagram on my website, electronicclinic.com. And if you want instant access to the code, the OLED setup, sensor libraries, and tons of other ready-to-use projects, you can download everything from my Patreon page. Watch this.
I wave my hand in front of the sensor and boom, the number increases. Let me try again. Another wave and there it goes again. The count goes up. Now I'll press the push button on GPIO 15 and just like that, the counter resets to zero. But here's the real magic. Now I will turn off the ESP32, turn it back on and look at that, the count is still there, saved perfectly, just like before. That's the power of using EEP ROM. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.